Do not like her attitude, Mr. Diamond. Well, a lot of people agree with you. I can understand that. Well, look, why can't you find this sister by herself? Because we are strangers here. We have only 24 hours in your city. Mm. Well, I don't know. There must be a couple of thousand, more or less, your countrymen here. They live pretty much in one section. Why don't you ask the cop in the corner? They'll uh, tell you how to find Senora Del Vio. It is not that easy. Mr. Dummett, I did not come here to argue with you. You come here to sit on my time? What? You know, I'm sorry. It's all right. I have another one. Mr. Diamond, I have a date, too. See you later. And that is your final word? That's my final word. It's my niece, La Muñeca. Well, how'd he do? Say, if your niece is very unhappy about all this, I guess the least I could do is talk a while. My name's Richard Diamond. A short thing, Mr. Diamond. It was so kind of you to receive us on such a short notice. Well, not at all. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, he's your uncle? Mm -hmm. I was educated in Paris. I bet you were. Will you help us find my aunt? Well, I can't think of anything I'd rather do. Mm -hmm. And you won't tell her that I'm here, will you? I want to surprise her. You like surprise? Well, that's a question, so do I. See how much we have in common? <laughs> My uncle tell me you're a very clever man. Well, your uncle is a very good judge of character. I don't think so. Hmm? If you were clever, you would put your coupling in your shirt before you put your shirt on. How about that? <laughs> I'll tell you what. If you will help us, I will help you. You've got yourself a deal. Hi, Sam. How's the board tonight? Lots of little flashing lights? Oh, you know yours is the only little flashing light in my life, Mr. D. Yeah. What can I do for you? Uh, Sam, that is a very dangerous question. But right for the moment, I'll settle for a favor, all right? I'm your man, Mr. D. Like a character by the name of Raul Lopez and a doll that calls herself La Muñeca. They entered the country this evening at Central Airport. I want you to check with immigration, see who they are and why they're here, will you? Thanks a heap. I just drive a telephone, remember? Now, Sam, don't get your headset in an uproar. All you have to do is check with Lieutenant Baker down at police headquarters. He owes me an assist. He'll, uh, take it from there. Well, that doesn't sound too hard. I'll check with you later, honey. Goodbye.
you don't mind if we made ourselves at home like this. What did you find out? I thought I was enough to know that you two were a couple of prize phonies. What? You played me for a patchy. Now that's enough. Now get out. What does that mean? You're worried about your aunt, honey? Well, don't be. She moves in a very fast social circle. Oh, somebody hurt you. I can't tell. I'll live. Perhaps you are well enough to tell us simply whether or not you found Senora the Vio. Now listen, buddy, I'm well enough to do more than that. Now you mind your manners or I'll bounce you off these walls. Oh, Mr. Dominic. That's Domino. enough out of you two. I want some straight answers and you can get out of here. <laughs> You're always so forceful. Uh -huh. Only when I'm amused now, how about it? My sister has been in this country a long time. We want to I've find her and take her home. Before. Before. All right, get hardly before it's Raul, season. will you please go back to the hotel? And now, Mr. Diamond, do you have any food in the refrigerator? I have any food. Food, yes. Of course I have food. In the Where is the kitchen? It's right around there. Good. Now you fix me a very large martini. And I'll fix you a delicious dinner. Megan? Do you want more coffee, Richard? No, thanks. Hey, what did you learn to cook like that? From my mother. Your mother? Sure, every girl learned how to cook from their mother. They did? Mm -hmm. Well, you're not just every girl, you know. That, that's a pity. Mm. You're a very nice boy. Yeah, honey, enough of that nice boy stuff. You know, I got a reputation to think of. Well, this has been all very educational. You're hardly my idea of a revolutionary. <laughs> all revolutionary are not white like fanatic. They are? Mm-mm. You and Signora de Vire are on the same team. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes, yeah, she, she flew into exile a few months ago. And Raul and I have been following her from country to country, trying desperately to find her. What are you looking for? Because she's one of our best writers in my country. Her work has been an inspiration to all of those that are fighting the tyranny of our government. See, we have to take her back to give new hopes. And then, then we'll have victory. You still want me to uh, find her for you? Well, I don't blame you if you don't want to. We've been very foolish not to tell you the truth from the beginning. Richard, hmm? will you help us? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, don't forget that position. Stay right there. I'll be right back. That's not very friendly. Uh, no, uh, Karen, uh, what are you doing here? You asked me to stop by after the showing, don't you remember? I did. Uh, I mean, I did, yes. Uh, I... Are you going to shoot at me or are you going to invite me in? Uh, we just finished uh, dinner. Oh, Richard, you've hardly touched your dessert. Oh, uh, well, uh, this is a client of mine, Karen. Her name is La Muñeca. Miss Wells. How do you do? I'm sorry I interrupted. Oh, not at all. I, I was just leaving him. You well, you'd better put your shoes on first. It's chilly outside. We uh, must get together sometime when you are free. I am sorry my presence here and thank you. No, no, no. It's all right. No mention. Where are you going? Out to earn my money. If I'm going to find your pen pal, I'd better start looking. Don't you want to finish your brandy first? Uh, yeah, I'd better not. Yeah, <laughs> lock up when you leave, eh? Mm -hmm.
I am the senor. You must be Mr. Diamond. Detectives are always so impetuous. Oh, it's a way of life. So you're the elusive senora de Valle. If you feel more secure with that gun, Mr. Diamond, and keep it by all means, however, I can assure you, you do not need it. Wait near the door. Senora, we'll play with your dice. Thank you. You will find them unloaded. Now, frankly, Senora, I don't know whether this whole thing is very simple or very complicated. Now, I was hired to find you by La Muñeca. Now, that's simple enough, isn't it? Then what is your problem? We tried to prevent your finding me. We failed. Yeah, well, don't throw in the towel so fast, Senora. I suspect you don't completely trust La Muñec. Mind you, I do not underestimate her. She's a formidable opponent. Still, I don't know. You do not act like a man who is free of doubt. Uh, wait a minute, you call La Muñeca an opponent? She says you're both on the same side. Now, who's lying? I can only tell you that La Muñeca has been closely associated with the dictator of my country for several years. I have been allied with those who oppose him. Well, why is she looking for him? To silence me. To take me back for public execution, one or the other. You know where to find me, if you still want me, Mr. Diamond. Will you wait here for a moment? Give me your gun, Mr. Diamond. Thank you. Louise will drive you home. Adios. Adios.
Louis, I'm beginning to dislike you. I told her, Signora, she shouldn't trust you, but she did. She thought you had a honest face. Now I'm going to kill you. Now just wait a minute. What's this all about? When I went back to the house, Pippi was lying there dead. And the Signor? She's gone. The most wonderful woman I've known. The hope of my country. She's gone. Now, buddy, I owed you that one. Now, the most I've been up to for the last hour is walking. Rao must have followed us to the Signora's house. After we left, he came in and took over. Now, you stand right over there. What are you going to do now? Tell me kind of luck, I'm going to take you to your leader. Operator, give me the telephone number, the emergency number, the Civil Aeronautics Board. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> resolved your doubts. Thank you, Mr. Diamond. Richard, darling, help me. Oh, darling, how can I ever thank you? Those last few hours have been a nightmare. Roland, Senor Del Valle was trying to kidnap me, the John Forces. I know it's hard to believe. As well, a matter of fact, it is. But honey, I know a fellow down at the police station will give it the old college try. There we go. Now, Karen, what what are you doing? Thanks, uh, You know, the funny thing about this is that I was really working last night. I'm doing penance without a reason. You'll have one. What do you mean I'll have one? When? The first opportunity you get. You've got me all figured out, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Come in. Oh, pens. No pens, no revolutions, just a plain, dull working girl. Yeah, come in, a plain, dull working girl. Thank you. 